Many believe brain deterioration is inevitable with aging, but an upcoming discussion at the Needham Free Public Library will share ways to strengthen the aging brain. Dr. Maureen O'Connor will present Successful Brain Aging, Understanding the Latest Science on Sunday, January 7th from 2 to 3.30 p.m. in the library's community room. She's an assistant professor of neurology at Boston University School of Medicine and the leader of the research education component at the Alzheimer's Disease Research Center. Ashley Julier spoke with Dr. O'Connor about what is normal brain aging and what participants can expect to learn at the presentation. What will you be discussing in your lecture on January 7th? I plan on talking a little bit about normal brain aging. Uh, it's, you know, sort of normal for the brain to age, just like other, other parts of our body age. So I want to help the audience to understand what normal brain aging is, how that's different from diseases of aging, things like uh, Alzheimer's disease, for example. And then I want to spend most of my time talking about uh, all of the different lifestyle factors that can help to boost the health of our brain as we get older. What is normal brain aging? In normal aging, the changes in memory and thinking that take place do not interfere with an individual's ability to independently manage their activities and do everything uh, that they would like to do for themselves in their everyday life. So, you know, maybe somebody needs to rely on reminder notes more or a calendar a little bit more, uh, but they don't need substantial help from another person to be able to manage their activities in, in everyday life. What do you hope those who attend get out of the talk? One goal is sort of to have people walk away with one new thing that they can do. Um, but the other thing that I hope people take away if they are not there already is a feeling that they can control to a certain extent what happens to their brains as they age. And certainly for some of these diseases of aging, you know, like again, Alzheimer's disease, which is, you know, the most common form of dementia over the age of 65, there is, uh, or there can be, you know, a genetic component, uh, you know, but uh, I, I think I want people to understand that they, they have some agency and some control in uh, uh, what happens to, to their brains as they get older.